Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people of the internet? It's Bossy here with you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel. And today, for you guys, I'm gonna be doing another edition of Story Time's Fun Time, where I talk about things that have happened to me in the past, the things I've done in the past for your entertainment and story time form. And today, for you guys, I'm gonna be talking about my first time ever going to LIC and my worst concert experience ever. So that's not a really good title for LIC, but yeah. For those of you guys who do not know what LIC, it's a life in color it's a music festival at eh, music festival it's an EDM scene kind of thing and it's basically just where they have artists performing on a main stage and two other stages basically I think that's how it went and um, they just throw paint at you so yeah this is a uh, this is my white bandana that I wore to cover my face basically I was just like this the entire time because I didn't want to have to get you know paint in my mouth which sucks for a lot of people because they got paint in their mouth and their drinks so uh, kind of sucks to be them but it was non toxic it just tasted like shit basically I, I, I expected to taste like Play-Doh. I, I don't know. I didn't taste it. But uh, yeah, this was the outcome. I threw away my shirt, but I do have selfies on Twitter if you guys want to see my outfit, how it ended up. And basically it just looks like a clown basically just came all over my face. So, you know, it's that was... Uh yeah, I gave a blowjob to a clown, basically, you know, it's like, oh, right all over my fucking face. And I'm a dirty little fucking whore, basically, so, yeah, there's that. Um, <coughs> I'm sick, basically, because of that. But also, uh, it was a, it was a little bit of a fun time, though. Although it was a bad experience, it was a fun time. I had fun. Now, uh, when I actually got there, it was just, uh, when I saw people getting out and I saw their outfits, I was just like, well, it looks like I'm too overdressed. And I was just wearing a t-shirt, a white t-shirt, the white bandana, and uh, basketball, not basketball shorts, cargo shorts, and my white band, no, black bands. Um, so, you know, the fact that I was overdressed kind of gives you an idea of what the fuck other people were dry or dre bleh, dressed as. And basically, I, there was one girl that was wearing nipple pasties. Um, that were weed little, that were like little fucking weed plants, um, the fucking Kush, uh, lingerie on the bottom, the panties, and then a fucking Kush hat, so that was, that's a very fucking creative, uh, outfit you got there, and then her boyfriend was the same thing, so, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't know if he was wearing panties, but he was wearing fucking cargo shorts that were the fucking Jamaican flag, so... The, that little white boy probably thinks that he smokes a lot, so he can wear that. And hot socks. So, there's that. <laughs> um, basically, that, that festival just fucking promotes drugs. <laughs> but, uh, besides that, I don't even care about what people were dressed as. It was just basically the people themselves towards me. Now, you guys know that my first time going to a rave, I told you that I almost got into a fight, and this happened again as well. But I will be going over that soon. So, uh, when I got to the LIC, it was basically when Ruby Rose is on stage playing uh, her music. Not even her music, you know, remixes and also mixes of other songs. And I really don't, I'm not a fan of Ruby Rose's music. I mean, she's a cool person probably, but I, I just don't like her music. But, you know, it was a pretty good set. I cannot deny that. It was fun. It was turnt, I guess you could say. But, wow, I sound like an old person. Turnt, as you, can, as you uh, children say nowadays. You're a lingo and all that slang. But, um... Yeah, so it was a little bit fun. Uh, me and my girlfriend were just dancing to the music, and then there's this one white girl, wasted girl that walked up to us with her boyfriend, and this girl was like fucked up. Like, she was entirely fucked up. Like, I wanted to just hug her and tell her it's gonna be okay. And like, she was so drunk that when she like started bumping into us, like, I'm not even fucking kidding, like, I was holding my girlfriend. And this girl goes up to me and fucking grabs my crotch, like squeezes my nuts and my dick in like one giant swoop of her head and is just like, oh, oops, I'm sorry. It's just like, the fuck are you doing? And she's like, I'm so sorry, like patting my penis. She's like patting it, like going down. She's like, I'm so sorry. And her boyfriend's just laughing like, dude, control your girl or it's gonna be our girl basically. Like, I, that's... What the fuck, dude? You're just gonna let your girlfriend be like that? And he was perfectly fine with her being all kinds of fucked up and like grabbing other guys' dicks and shit, which honestly, that don't that didn't flow with me. I mean, I was like telling him to like, yo, get her out of here or some shit like that because she is too fucked up to be here by herself. Like, but, and also, not to mention, she got lost. He lost her. Yeah, he lost her. So that's great. That's a little bit of an update. And then, uh, 
there was this one dude that was coming out of his role from Molly's and he got really pissed off because people were uh, uh, like, you know, going through the little crowd and not even a little crowd. It was a big ass fucking crowd. You know, you know, people always try to get to the front, which I got to the front, luckily. And I got to see uh, Big Sean Ruby Rose, some up and coming artist. I don't fucking know. I, I just remember his songs and uh, Jack U, but uh, I actually left during Jack U. And this guy was so pissed off that people were going through and he's just like, whoever fucking moves another step is gonna get knocked out and everyone stopped moving because this guy was big as fuck uh so after that you know during jackie we left and uh me and my girlfriend left that jackie the main stage and we went over to the uh beverage station where we got water and this fucking dude yo another drunk person has to come up to me and touch me this drunk dude was literally standing behind the back um, behind me in line and started kicking at my ass like he literally just started like patting my ass with his foot and then like right when I turned around I let go of my girlfriend I just like I literally was so pissed off that I just set up for fight like I literally just set up already like I had my hands in the air I was just like yo you want to fucking go bro and like his girlfriend was just like yo I'm sorry he's drunk blah 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 and he's just like yeah I want to go and I was just like yo I was ready to knock somebody out like I had my ring on so you know I, I was like ready to leave that little impression on his cheek and stuff like that because I'm I'm more of like a Love or not of a fighter, but I, I do have anger management problems, so I will fuck anybody up that I'm literally tired of. So that was a fun little experience, and then his girlfriend had to like calm us both down. And then we got the water, which the water was five dollars a fucking bottle. That was not worth it, but uh, oh well, right? So after that, um, we uh, started going around. We went back to Jack U, and then we left Jack U again. Uh, sorry, Jack, you, I love you, but, you know, it's, it was just not my kind of day. And I went to the bathroom. This is where everything takes a fucking turn for the worse. If this didn't happen, I'd be a little bit more happy. But, no, it, it, it did happen. So, this, this is where my life went down the shitter. Literally, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'd already know what I'm talking about. So, I went to a porta potty to, you know, you know, fucking release my bodily fluids, and I went to go take a piss. Now, when I went to the first uh, porta potty that I was gonna go take a piss in, I open it and some guy's getting fucking head. Now, first off, ladies, if you ever give a blowjob in a porta potty, you as a human have failed. Cause, like, I would want a blowjob in public places, but a fucking porta potty is disgusting. Like, first of all, if you're giving a blowjob, you can't breathe through your fucking mouth. You have to breathe through your nose. So the fact that you are breathing in that air of other people's shit is fucking disgusting. And guys, if you ever make a girl like suck your dick in a porta potty, you are a terrible human being. Like what the fuck? There's one thing to get a blumpkin because it's your shit. Like it's your shit, and you know it's a fucking bonding experience. But if they're sucking your dick, smelling other people's shit. Basically, they're giving blumpkins to someone else. Just think about that. That's my perspective on it. So, I walked in on someone getting a blowjob. That was a fun experience. Lucky you guy. And then I went to another porta potty, which was even smellier than the first one. So, when I get in, I had my phone charging, which I, I can't show you my phone because here, you're, you're going to listen to what happens. So, I had my phone charging on the portable charger, uh, charger, charger, and I had it above me with the flashlight pointing up. So, I was taking the leak, you know, pssst just enjoying life and right when I was a uh, you know buttoning buttoning up my pants my belt swung pulled my charger cable and my phone slid from the top that's right here all the way down like just a straight line down straight into the fucking toilet of the porta potty and you know luckily my cable unplugged and it was gone my phone was gone it went down the shitter. It was a fucking royal flush. Whatever pun you want to make of it, go ahead in the comment section below and do that right now. Because this is a one shot to just take a straight jab at my life. But uh, that sucks. Yeah. So I lost my phone to a fucking porta potty. Luckily, I just called my, um, I called my, uh, company, uh, the, um, company provider and I just told them that someone stole my phone and uh, you know to pretend like that shit so yeah some some dude named porta potty stole my phone so porta potty if you're out there fuck you fuck you for stealing my phone anyways after that I was fucking heated I was so pissed off you know I just wanted to you know fight somebody so I was even worse I made a promise to my mom that day that I wasn't gonna fight anybody because I have anger management problems so when we left the porta potty I was fucking heated I was extremely pissed off and basically it was just an overall shit day Ha ha ha, 
puns, 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 fuck that. So, Jackie was still playing and we sat down just to listen to Jackie who was playing some hard ass tracks and I was just overly fucking pissed off. I was, like, I was happy when I got pain on me but every single time someone like basically squirted the pain in my face or on my body, I just wanted to punch him in the fucking face. And after that, you know, we went to go listen to Philostradamus and Zed's Dead, then we left and here is the second part of why it was such a shitty fucking day. So when I was walking towards the parking lot, uh, leaving finally, did my lights just get brighter? I don't even fucking know. Uh, so when I was leaving from LIC, uh, we were, I took out my Voss and Lanyard, which is going to be right there. And I had my girlfriend's Cadillac keys on it. So if you guys do have a Cadillac, most Cadillac keys have the key fob and then the key, it, it disconnects. I didn't fucking know it did that. So... Uh, I was, you know, swinging my my lanyard uh, around in the air because I'm used to my keys that don't fall off. And when I didn't even notice that the keys fell off. So when we finally got to the car, we left at 11, at 11, so we can leave early. So we left at 11 and I was swinging my lanyard and I just put it around my neck and I didn't fucking notice anything until we got to her car that was on the other side of the stadium and noticed that the key wasn't there so we looked around for the key didn't find anything and we had to wait until four in the morning to leave the stadium while everyone else was already gone I, we had police like harassing us telling us to get out before we get fined so that was a fucking great experience and then you know basically my mom uh, appeared at four in the morning to pick us up while um we got taco bell and a tow truck fantastic towing little advertisement there thank you for helping us out though uh, we had three tow trucks, basically. The first one failed on us because they broke down. That's a little bit ironic. The second one had uh, had didn't have the equipment to take it because my girlfriend's car is a rear-wheel drive and it could not go into neutral because it was an automatic car and it was pushed to start, so we couldn't really do anything about that. So that was just a, basically a shitty time. And then finally, you know, we got the car uh, towed and then we went to Taco Bell and basically that's pretty much it. And I had the shittiest experience at a rave so that's pretty much it for this story it's a little bit lengthy compared to other stories but i hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless if you guys have ever had a shitty experience at a rave let me know in the comment section down below it'd be a fun little sharing experience you know talk to talk i don't even mind it you know i, I think it's fun to you know do these kind of face videos because it's just simply just pure film that you guys can see and then have to uh make fun of me for so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like and don't forget to click that subscribe button again i'm sorry for not uploading i was sick and now i'm better so i'm gonna be doing more uploads frequently so i hope you guys did enjoy this and i will be seeing you guys next time peace